you think the UK should remain in the European Union because you're scared that the UK is going to become a more authoritarian country? Absolutely, yeah. I would say it's becoming a lot more. Getting out against this government for destroying all. Do you think the UK should rejoin the European Union? <laughs> well, we didn't want can them to sign, leave in the first place. Can we place. sign up now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we they should remain. Yes. So. Yeah. And why do you think we should rejoin the European Union? Well, look at the last, look at the last <clears throat> two and a half years of absolute crisis and disaster and uncertainty. Yeah, and Europe's our biggest trading yeah. partner. We, we like see. Europe. We're friends with them, despite a few wars of many centuries ago. I, I, um, I didn't vote for Brexit. Um, I thought I thought we should have uh, remained in the European Union. Um, and if I had a magic wand and make us go back into the Union, I um, I think I would do that. No. Why not? Because we took a vote, and there is no reason for us to go back in. I voted to stay within the EU, but as far as I'm concerned. Um, the majority of the country voted against it, so we stick by that vote. Yeah. Yeah, I think if there was a bit of um, uh, reform within the EU, I think that it's probably a good decision. Why? Why do you think so? Um, I think that uh, a global globalisation should occur, and I think it's a lot easier for the world to run if we're all in the same boat. Yeah. I don't think so. You know, I think we're good on our own. I think we're good on our own because there will be decisions that they make for every country in the union that might not work for the UK you know and especially because we've just left now for us to join I don't think it make any sense we need to kind of fend for ourselves now before we get back in there oh yes yeah. why, why is that? Uh, because we're better together we're stronger together than we are apart the European Union's a good thing Definitely. Putin have not been such an idiot he could eventually have led Russia to a point where they could have joined the EU as well yeah. and NATO and NATO as well. But he's, because he's ex-KGB, and as he said, you're always KGB, his whole mind is warped. Yeah. And he can't see the best thing for Russia. All he can see is the best thing for what he thinks. Yes and no. I think we've gone so far down the no one. Um, we're not coming out the other end because of COVID, because of the war in Ukraine. But... We were better off, in a way, being part of the European Union. Yes. Why? Why do I want the UK to join the European Union? Because I think that, for one, working together in cooperation is beneficial for everybody. I mean, I think it was a great shame that in the late 90s and 2000s, in the, sorry, early 2000s, that Russia didn't end up joining the EU and that we formed a very large body of cooperation. If we work together, if we economically share, if we try and be as interlinked with each other as we can, then we don't have wars of aggression. We need each other. We're, all our hands are in each other's pockets, and that's just surely got to be a better thing for world peace and stability. Uh, I'll that. I think they should, yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know as much. I think the British electorate would definitely be up for that in the majority, but as far as it's having a uh, government that would actually support the UK join, joining the European Union again, I'm not sure. If okay, a storm it might. Yeah, absolutely. If, if there is a Labour government, I think that would definitely... But why, why do you think the UK should rejoin the European Union? Well, because I think there's... Uh, just seeing how it's sort of, like, affected the... I, I know, I, I believe in, like, free movement. I think people should, from Europe, should be able to come and live in the UK and have all the rights that UK citizens have um, and I just think it, it's better for international relations. For sure, yes. <laughs> We're divided on that, so I would say I would say no and he would say yes. Why, why do you think the UK should not rejoin the European Union? Because I think we, as an island, we, we are far better standing on our own. Uh, without all the problems that come from the EU. And why do you think we should rejoin the European Union? Um, I think it just brought a lot more benefits to, to the people, both in England and in Europe, and it just a lot more opportunities. Um, 
just in terms of like sort of living and just like, getting to explore explore Europe and kind of all be united together. Yes, definitely. Why do you think that? Is as I said in relation to the war in Russia, uh, peace is peace and uh, big, uh, leaving everybody in a big family. It's what I believe in. We should be able to travel all over the world. A boundary is just a, a visual, a non-visual uh, block that doesn't really exist. You, you should be able to to, to travel everywhere. You know. Even, uh, we are all citizens of the planet. We shouldn't be fighting. I'm not sure they'll want us actually at the moment, but we certainly need to, to be uh, getting out against this government for destroying all the key EU legislation that they still want to destroy, which affects our human rights and will further impoverish this country. Oh, I mean, I think we spent... <laughs> Do I think we should have left? Do I think it should have gone to a vote? No. Do I think the UK population had the knowledge and awareness to make such a big decision? No. Um, so I'm not an expert in the field and neither is the entire it neither is most of the UK population, so we really shouldn't have made it. Really shouldn't have been put to us to answer that question when, you know, subsequently a whole load of artificial statements were made, especially about how much money would be then donated. Well, come to the NHS instead, which is just just complete false statement. Perhaps, should, perhaps cheap people should be held to account for some of the lies that were told during that Brexit decision. I think we were better off in it. It's it's not my it's not something I dream about. But like if if we got the choice, I'd probably say yes. But I mean, I think the EU needs to be reformed. Like its attitude to refugees is disgusting. So I think and not least to change. But we're no better. Me personally, I'm I'm um, remain. But I'm not sure we should have another um, another election. Um, just because I think a massive part of what made Brexit so bad was businesses being in limbo about what's actually going to happen like what sort of a deal is going to be made and I don't think we want to go through that all over again um, so I do think sort of the people have spoken and I'm not I'm not sure how democratic it is to make the whole country vote on something and then only a couple years later like or well, it's not a couple years but you know reverse it so soon after uh, so even though I am remain I'm not I'm not sure and, and I think Starmer is keen to sort of even if we are not members of the EU, try and um, stay on good terms with them and trade with the bloc as much as we can. Yeah. So I think maybe there's something to be said for that before completely rejoining. Um, but oh yeah, obviously I think it's bad, been bad for the UK overall. I think you can, it's crazy how like we had the whole, oh immigrants are taking our jobs narrative and now we have like shortages everywhere. It's like we need, we need workers, so. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> Do so you think he doesn't really care about his people? Well, he's sending loads of them to their death, so I suspect he probably can't really. And also, he's he's running a country which is which he allows lots of oligarchs to have lots of money and really ought to be distributing it and building up the country. Yeah. But not in a military way. No. no. I personally, yes. Why? Um, I just think what's... We were better off in the European Union and, for the, and certainly for the future of the younger people than myself. It's better to be part of that block and to be able to travel freely through the countries, through 27 other countries. Yeah, I think the whole thing was just like complete manipulation by all the media. And I think it's scary how much the, like, all the British like, electorate can just be like persuaded so much. It just shows how like influential all the media is. But no, I think it would be so much better for the economy if we didn't leave and let alone like rights and because yeah. now you see like the government want to infringe our human rights and the human rights act and things like that i think it would just be better if we stayed in the eu had all our rights protected by the european courts and um yeah, yeah. I, I think i think it's quite scary that now you know, the current <laughs> government can just like take away what any rights they can and are infringing on rights to protest. You know, it's bad for everyone. It's not mm. less just bad for the quality of life for all British people, let alone like all its effects on the economy. So, yeah, yeah I fully agree. Why? 
Um, I'm Scottish, so Scot Scottish people, we all voted to remain in the EU. Um, I think that we should spend more time trying to build, bring in everyone together rather than separating the world. I'm not really against the... I'm Italian and I'm not really against the Brexit, to be honest. To me, it's not bad. It wasn't that bad because honestly, what do I think is that many people, they take advantage of the government here. So. Yes, <laughs> 100% yes. Uh, I think we're better together. I think we're a, we're a European uh, country. And I think I've, I've only seen negative impacts of Brexit in terms of politics, in terms of attitude, prices, culture, freedom of movement, stuff like that. I think it's so important that we were part of the EU and I'm still very disappointed in the country's decision to leave. Do you think the UK should remain in the European Union because you're scared that the UK is going to become a more authoritarian country? Absolutely, yeah. I would say it's becoming a lot more, a lot harder to, um, yeah. Do you think the UK might end up becoming like Russia one day? Um, that's a hard question. <coughs> I'd, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it would. I mean, there's a lot of like cultural differences that go into that, but I don't think. I think if the UK did do anything similar to Russia, like militarily, it would all be behind closed doors. Like I don't think. I don't think the British people would have it if, if like we increased our military stance in a lot of. Um, really offensive ways. I think. I think now most people think that like, we need to defend ourselves against Russia, but by providing Ukraine with a like, means to defend themselves. But you know. I no. I don't think we're going to get to Russia's level um, or become that authoritarian. I just don't think our system allows for that. Um, and I think as long as we're members of NATO and the US are have the military complex and they keep spending so much I think we'll sort of get carried by them I think it's I think we spend what like two percent of our GDP on the military and like the US spends I don't know I'm gonna say now like 10 percent or something so I think we'll sort of be carried by them I don't think it should have left left whether it should rejoin or not is another question I'm not sure if that's even really a viable option um, it's a massive shame that they left in the first place that's all I can say. Why? Um, I just think that it <clears throat> hasn't been a, it's not a positive thing. I just don't understand why you disconnect yourself from the, you know, <clears throat> in such a sort of catastrophic way from um, such a huge market. Um, I think it's kind of been bad for the UK in terms of like general kind of perception, <clears throat> in terms of like xenophobia and those kind of things within Europe. Um, I don't see too many positive positives in the UK leaving the EU, to be perfectly honest. Part of me thinks yes. How come? Uh, more integration, uh, more help, more compassion. And we, we're all foreigners everywhere, and we're all foreigners. Oh, definitely, yeah. How come? Because then we're more connected and um, we're not so insular. Yes. Why? Well, I... I would. I wish it had never left the European Union. I think it'd be quite hard to join now. The terms would presumably be very tricky. But I certainly think we should have a much better relationship with Europe. God knows. I don't. I don't know the answer to that. It doesn't really affect me. Maybe they should. I don't know. It's what everyone else says. Personally, I don't know. I didn't vote. I think so. I never supported them leaving the EU to start with. Um, however, <laughs> I don't know how easy it would be for them to go back to to to, to um, go back and renege on the fact that um, people wanted to go out and um, the, the country came out of the EU. So <laughs> it's a very difficult one. But I think, yeah, really and truly, being united is a good thing. Divided is not necessarily a good thing, which we are seeing the repercussions of now. Possibly in the future, but not now.